time to get ill. Denmark, 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 Denmark. Could you make a video about what Danish people think about Trump buying Greenland? What do you think? Should Denmark sell Greenland to Trump? Talk about Trump's anti-Denmark rant. Which one? Denmark, right? And using one of his choice insults for women, the president called Denmark's prime minister nasty for calling his interest in buying Greenland absurd. As I always say when I venture into politics, um, I am not that big on it. And do you know what that's code for? It bores me. I don't find any excitement in arguing with people about it. And no matter what you say, you are going to piss people off with your standpoint. And that fucking bores me. You know what else bores me? most reality TV shows, and sadly, there is not much difference between the two subjects these days, are there? Whoops, now I've offended the first few people, and uh, if you are going to bash me in the comment section, I just have one request this time. Because when it comes to politics, people forget completely forget how to use full stops. So could you please use full stops, periods, or whatever you call the little dot you learn how to use in school after you end a sentence? N no sentence needs to be 80 lines long. Thank you. In case you're not in the loop, I'll give you the short version first. Oh, and some light. Was that good? Oh, it's fine. As I was saying, in case you are not in the loop, I'll give you the short version first, um, including a bit of spontaneous commentary containing my thoughts on the matter. Yeah, great. Agent Orange invites himself for a state visit without talking to the Queen about it which is kind of, kind of a custom. Okay, fine, kind of rude, but expected when coming from you. But we'll write you an official invite then, no worries. He then airs the idea in discussing the purchase of Greenland, which is an autonomous country within the Kingdom of Denmark and which was never up for sale. But you know, that must be clickbait titles going around, right? Because no one in their right mind would Give me a second. Um, Trump was serious and then cancelled the state visit on Twitter because the Danish Prime Minister said that a purchase of Greenland is absurd. Oh, he was serious about that? Yes. Oh, eh, what do you know? Still not entirely unexpected. He then proceeds to call the Prime Minister of Denmark nasty for using the word absurd forward to going but I thought that the Prime Minister's statement that it was absurd that was it it was an absurd idea was nasty I thought it was an inappropriate statement and it was said in a very nasty very sarcastic way I said because absurd is a really offensive word and that's the short version and dear Mr. President that last comment a really offensive word that was sarcasm this is not Trump again could on lens here and hvilke tanker gør du dig i den anledning? Jamen jeg kommer ikke nogen som helst tanker i den forbindelse. Det er jo en, det er en absurd diskussion, og, og Kim Kielsen har selvfølgelig gjort det klart, at Grønland ikke er til salg, og så stopper snakken med det. I know he's probably quickly read somewhere that the Danes are a sarcastic bunch of people, and he's right, but he clearly doesn't know what sarcasm is. And it was said in a very nasty, very sarcastic way. Sarcasm is the use of remarks that clearly mean the opposite of what they say. Meta Frederiksen was 100% honest when she said a purchase of Greenland is absurd. No sarcasm there. She probably didn't expect the reaction she got, meaning she did not expect Trump to be such a big man-child about the word choice, or else she would have probably picked another word, such as inappropriate. Does Trump know what absurd even means? Don't know. No one has asked him. Huh. Absurd can mean one of three things. Unreasonable, illogical, and, what do you know, inappropriate. I can't talk for the Danish Prime Minister, but um, I personally think it's all three. <laughs> it's unreasonable because Greenland is not the Danish people's country. Greenland is the Greenlandic... <laughs> I've never said that before. Uh, but Greenland is the Greenlandic people's country. Like, we won't, and we legally can't, sell an entire country and its people like livestock. It's not a hotel. It's illogical because Greenland is, and I repeat, an autonomous country within the Kingdom of Denmark. And they have never, and I repeat, never put up a for sale sign. 
well, at least not seriously. <laughs> But you can buy that ice block there. What's a little bit of more ice disappearing on your watch going to matter, huh? And lastly, it's inappropriate because, well, everything I just said. But hey, let's see what the Danish people think about this, shall we? Um, and quite honestly, I don't think I'm going to find that many wild reactions or interesting th stuff about this. Um, and I will try to explain why at the end of this. Essentially, it's a large real estate deal. It's not a hotel! <laughs> well, Greenland, I don't know, it got released somehow. It's just something we talked about. Denmark essentially owns it. We're very good allies with Denmark. We protect Denmark like we protect large portions of the world. Is that a threat? So the concept came up, and I said, certainly, I'd be strategically, it's interesting. And we'd be interested, but we'll talk to them a little bit. What is he saying? I heard it was because he couldn't buy Greenland. So if he's that stupid, um, I think it's good that he's not yes. coming. Good Danish mentality for right Denmark, there. Because uh, we don't own Greenland. And it's absurd that she, he thinks that she can buy another country. Greenland is for the Greenland people. And nobody else. No, not at all. I mean, it's 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 a stupid question. It's uh, it's uh, impossible. <laughs> I think it sounds outrageous to buy a whole country like that, but uh, it's inappropriate. Guys. They're already present in so many other ways. So I don't know why he wants to own it all. So. I don't know. Sometimes I love Danish people. It's like, it's stupid. Let's get on with the day. Oh, shit. Honestly, I want to say that I'm surprised, but I feel like anything could come from his side. So I, I wasn't. That, that right there, that's what we think. We honestly want to say that we were surprised, but meh. Jeg synes, det er en fornærmelse mod Danmark, og ikke mindst det er en fornærmelse mod dronningen, som, hvor han selv har ringet måske og, oh, og inviteret sig selv, og så inviterer hun ham efterfølgende. Mm. Og så går han i meget små sko, og så tager sådan en udtalelse fra Mette Frederiksen for fornærmet op. Det synes jeg er for dårligt, altså en statsmand. Mm. Uh, what do you think about Donald Trump canceling his visit to Danmark? I think he's good. He don't go. <laughs> He's a terrible person. I don't understand how he can be a president. Go away, stay in the United States, and yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Because you want to buy Greenland, it's, it's not Denmark anymore. So I don't understand it, how he can be so upset about that. What do you think about Donald Trump and his visit to Denmark? He's a little bit interesting. Fordi han ikke kan få Grønland, så er han en tøster. These butchers be det det butching Trump. Men vi sparer en masse penge. Det er en god ting. Så kan være, at pensionen bliver sat op. Vi kan <laughs> håbe. <laughs> fucking Danish people. Yeah. <laughs> så kan det være, at pensionen bliver sat op. I don't know if you can call this a reaction, because it was actually planned before he cancelled the trip. Um, it was supposed to, to be up when he was here, but uh, we got the baby Trump balloon to Copenhagen uh, from the UK and they, they flew it anyway, even though he didn't come. I also think Trump knows that he's not that popular here, so I don't think he was that pumped to come here to begin with. So when his purpose of coming here was defeated, he was just like, nope. When I heard that the baby Trump could come here and uh, I was asked if I could help then I thought this is something that I can do and uh, I think even uh, actually even more importantly when he's not coming here because he could not buy Greenland uh, from the Danish government it's so uh, it's ironic even more important to show that we uh, as I as a person and us Danes as a people we do something we want to say that it's not cool I think it's a good way to uh, to show uh, something about that uh, person I'll call him <laughs> because uh, he's uh, most of the time reacting like a little baby. I'm here to um, uh, support uh, the project with Baby Trump uh, because uh, I uh, I don't like Donald Trump. Uh, I think uh, he's uh, the worst thing uh, uh, could um, happen in the United States. And I, I yeah. think he's a disgrace for United States. I think States. a lot of Danes share that opinion. I think, in general, a lot of Europeans share that opinion. 
I know there was a video I was told was good. Yeah, by the former US ambassador. Danes, Europeans more broadly, uh, obviously uh, Donald Trump is remarkably unpopular uh, in this part of the world, but I'll speak for Denmark here. Uh, they may not love Donald Trump and they may not love his politics, but they do love the United States of America. That's and true. We're going to have a lot of uh, uh, we're going to have a lot of fixing to do. And I actually was just going to ask you, kind of in light of this, what your assessment was of the how the president does conduct diplomacy. Unusual, of course. Do you see it in any way at all effective? So I, I, I do not hate, and I, and I, I'll tell you sort of, uh, and not. I'll tell you why. Um, so in the last 12 hours or whatever it is since we learned that he canceled He's the trip, so and I am it. in Copenhagen, ironically, coincidentally, on vacation, um, and the response from the Danes is something that I find very, very troubling. Um, it used to be that our allies, like Denmark, held us to a very high standard, and the, the, the idea that uh, a president of the United States would cancel something as significant to them as a state mm -hmm. visit would be uh, would be very, very insulting, and it is insulting to. Danes, it is, but this is almost what's what what uh, what I'm most afraid of. They treat it with kind of a collective shrug and eye mm. roll to a certain extent. That this is Trump being Trump. That they somehow expected it. That this kind of behavior is normalized somehow. And that's what that's what that's what scares me. So to answer your question, no, I I, I don't find it effective. You know, I almost didn't do this video because I wish I had more entertaining and or mind blowing reactions to show you guys. But the truth is. We are all just kind of done with that man. Like we expect this sort of thing coming from him. We can't take him seriously. He's a cartoon character to most of us. So do me a favor and vote for Dolphin Smears next election, please. Trump is just a person who barks at everyone, demanding respect without ever earning it. And Danish people are just having none of that. I don't have anything more to say than that. I'm over it. See you next video. I am the chosen one.